to the Cyber King of Hunter here, and I'm gonna be doing a little video today on iOS 4.2. First look, it's not out yet, but I have it on my phone, so let's have a look. Now, first of all, warning to you guys that um, the uh, iPod Touch 2G and 1G won't have all the features. 1G is excluded, so is the iPhone 1G as well, and the iPod Touch 1G. iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G won't have that many improvements, except the iPhone 3G would just have a few performance improvements, but. Those are the warnings that I have to say, so let's get on let's get on with the look. So first of all, it's this uh, 4.2 is supposed to bring some new features. One of the new new features called AirPrints, which I don't apparently can't show, but my printer doesn't support it, but I'll show you guys of kinda of how it works, but I don't have it, so any page that has like a web link, I'm guessing like Safari, you just go to print. Try to select the printer. But apparently mine won't work, but if you do have a printer, I think it's HP that works with it, HP eWeb, that will work with uh, Print Center. You can like tell me tell you how many copies you want. That's Print Center. Sorry if that doesn't work for you guys. Sorry if it doesn't work for me. But next thing is good. I did, I just I did a video a few months a few days ago a few weeks ago about the iPhone uh, security passcode lock bypass and I'm going to show you guys that it, that it, that is fixed now so let me just get into that it's passcode lock let's try it before you had to like enter a call and stuff like a number and like push the call button and then push the lock button but now let's try it call lock doesn't work So that's fixed. Some other new features is that you actually have new text tones on the iPhone. So let's go through some of those. Oh yeah, I also have some new options too. So when you actually um, adjust the volume, it will change the ringer and alerts with these buttons on the side. So but if you turn this off, it will just change the sound, I guess, of the uh, of the music and stuff for like the games and stuff you play on it. So here are the new text tones. Anticipate, bloom. Hello, Poso, I know how to say it. Choo Choo. Descent. Fanfare. Ladder. Minute. News Flash. Nor. Standard for share with forced spell suspense telegraph tiptoes typewriters and update. No, I don't like those sounds at all. The original ones are much better, especially that one we're all familiar with. So that was the new text sounds. Not really a big fan of those. Next one is notes. You can change the font now. Um, what else? You also have new um, volume controls for the left. You have that right there, your uh, iPod thing. And right here, you also have speaker stuff as well. And you also, if you have a, a little, um, uh, what do you call it? Those Bluetooth things, 
you also have the ability to adjust those as well. Next will be the FaceTime shortcut from the iPhone. On Messages app. There's a new voice memos icon. It's right there. Updated, there's updated applications, which I don't know what those are, but there's also minor graphics improvements. I can't really tell, but. What else? You can also uh, assign different text tones now to a contact. So I'll just say. So I can assign a different text tone. Like when he texts me, I can also I can go to. So when he texts me, I'll hear that tone. Something like that. And also, you can also go to full field test mode again on your phone. Whoopsie. One, two, three, four, five. Number of pound. I don't know the number, guys, but that's that's pretty much iOS 4.2. Thanks for watching, guys.